We are now going to expand what we did yesterday um, and look at adding and subtracting mixed numbers. I'm going to show you two different ways that you could add or subtract mixed numbers and you can decide which you prefer. The first way is just to turn them into improper fractions. So here we would say 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3, it's 23 over 4, and 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7, so it's 7 over 3. Hopefully by now it would be really quick for you to see that your common denominator here has to be 12 and then because we have multiplied by 3 here we must multiply the numerator by 3 and so we get 69 and here we've multiplied by 4 so we must multiply the numerator by 4 and we get 28. When we add those together we get 97 over 12 and if we then want to rewrite that as a mixed number 12 into 97 goes 8 times remainder 1 so we have 8 and 1 twelfths as our answer. Now the other method we could use here is to notice that what we have is 5 and 3 quarters which is made up of a 5 plus 3 quarters and we've got a 2 and a third so it's 2 plus a third. Now we can simply add the whole numbers together so we get 5 plus 2 is 7 and then we have to add the 3 quarters and the 1 third and that's a simple fraction addition to do again common denominator of 12 we've multiplied denominator by 3 so 3 times 3 is 9 and here we've multiplied denominator by 4 so 4 times 1 is 4 and then we get here 7 and 13 over 12 and 13 over 12 is just 1 and 1 twelfth and so we get our answer as 8 and 1 twelfth because we had 7 plus 1 and 1 twelfth so it's 8 and 1 twelfth. And the second method is very nice um, because you don't have to deal with any of these kind of horrible big numbers. Subtraction has a very similar story. We could just use the first method which is turn everything into improper fractions and just do your fraction subtraction as normal or otherwise we can do this method of using whole number and fraction so we do this is five plus a half and this is two plus a quarter and then we just do the whole numbers five minus two and we have half minus a quarter five minus two is three and half minus a quarter is a quarter and so we get three and a quarter Things get a little trickier with subtraction if we have this fraction smaller than this fraction. Start in the same way, but you see once we get down here is we've got to do a quarter minus a half. And because a quarter is smaller than a half, that's going to get us into negatives and all sorts of complications. So we need to avoid that. What we do is we actually split this 3 up into a 2 and a 1, and we put the 1 together with the quarter, and now there's no problem because now I can say 1 and a quarter which is 5 over 4 minus a half which is 2 over 4 and that's just 3 over 4 so I've got 2 and 3 quarters.